I'm pleased to be able to sign today a air cooperation framework agreement and uh, have it filmed so that we can share it with uh, a larger group of people. And that agreement is between two of the world's oldest air forces, the Royal Australian Air Force and the Royal Air Force. And we've enjoyed a long and rich history of working and often, unfortunately, fighting side by side. In the Great Wars, our people shared the skies with sop with camels and spitfires. And today, our capabilities have again converged and I'm excited to be formalising our long-standing collaboration with this air cooperation framework. This framework provides a structure that ensures alignment within the overarching Australia-UK military cooperation framework that's led by our respective vice chiefs and it's based on our shared platforms and our workforce and of course, most importantly, our like-mindedness. I look forward to promoting even stronger and closer cooperation as we introduce a range of common platforms and systems into service and then support them in operations. Our forces share multiple platforms, of course from the quite old now C-130 to the very new F-35 Lightning and to future platforms like the MQ-9 Bravo, the Sky Guardian. Now all of our shared capabilities provide valuable opportunities for us to work together and to achieve our capability and interoperability goals. Under the air cooperation framework that, that I'm about to sign will enhance the interoperability of our two air forces, will harmonise our operations and will also develop uh, a better sense of doctrine. We'll also rationalise the programs to leverage off each other's capabilities. Importantly, to share lessons and then of course mutually support operations from each other's bases. And why is this important? Well, hey, we, we all know we face an increasingly uncertain geostrategic situation, certainly in our region, and for that we welcome the UK's renewed engagement in the Indo-Pacific. Exploiting areas of common ground between the Royal Australian Air Force and the Royal Air Force will help us to respond to our country's respective national interests. I commit to and I trust that in signing this air cooperation framework, we will be well placed to strengthen the bonds between our two great air forces and to maximise our ability to respond to the challenges, not just of today, but also for the future. Thank you.